Dinner in Paris. Recently, I was there and joined by my friend Philip to create an expat dinner for friends of ours. No matter where in the world you're hosting a dinner party, the most important thing to remember is that you're home. It's not a restaurant. It should feel cozy and relaxed. And everyone who comes through your door should, at least for a little while, become family. I guess you could say a lot of us are foodies or food oriented, like we love um, eating well and that's what Paris is about. It's about the markets, it's about fresh produce, the bakeries, the sweets which I particularly love. You know, good, good food, good friends and getting together over dinners, I mean that's what it's a lot of it is about, you know, which New York was about more going out to eat and here in Paris I find that it's more about eating together in someone's home and sharing um, your, your stories over dinner. See, so Kasha's come over to show me how it's all done, because she's an expert. And then she decided to put bay leaves on it and it does make it, you know, this, this sort of the colors of this go with this, but then this contrasts with it, so it makes it much more exciting. And I can't wait to see when everyone's around the table and there are glasses and lights and it will be magical. A lot of people who come to France in particular are motivated in part by food and wine. Or very often this is a, a big part of their, their commitment to being here. So they're passionate cooks, they're passionate foodies, or they become so just because of the opportunity of being here. And yes, uh, we do tend to have dinner parties. I am Meg Zimbeck. I'm the founder and editor of a website called Paris by Mouth, which is an English language website about eating and drinking in Paris, things I like a lot. And I write about food and wine for a living, and I spend most of my life devoted to doing that. So we're going to have uh, an amazing dinner, and uh, I know Laura and Philip are cooking, so I'm very excited to to try to see what's on the menu. Actually, I don't want to know. I want to be surprised. Uh, we'll have some good wine, as uh, always, in France. It's been a long day, so the guests have arrived. Dinner's about to start. So I think that adrenaline's going to kick in any second. At least I hope so. Let's take a last look and see if we can. Oh, oh my god, it looks so fabulous. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Look at that. It's getting there. Evil pig in the end. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, my God, it's so good. Wow. These are just plain artichokes. It's very uh, rustic here. Um, but they're so huge, we only get half. We can't possibly eat a whole artichoke. I mean, how can you pass on such beautiful artichokes, really? Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. For your hospitality. Cheers Laura. down there. When I cook with friends in Paris, it is often really very much family style and also not trying to impress each other, but trying to do something that makes people think like, we feel special. Okay, let's make a real event of it. Artichokes are notoriously difficult to pair with wine. And this one that Jeffrey got from the Jura really is fantastic. Look at this cloth. Yeah. You, you and he has the, the oh, they're really lovely. I think people think of dinner parties in Paris as being sort of everything's very stiff and you get everything in fine glasses and there are a lot of bits of cutlery. And actually when you're just among friends, it's almost like eating in the countryside. It's very plain and simple. My idea of a French dinner was everything is plated, five course meals, and you showed me that it's quite the contrary. It's yeah. décontract. It's, yeah. it's, it's very easy going. Relaxed. Because I'm really a country girl and I think it follows me wherever I go. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Jeffrey, this calls for wow. red wine. There is not enough meat. No, no, je rigole. I am teasing. There is I know. <laughs> Oh, look how tender this is. I've never had pork that tastes like that. It absolutely melts right on your tongue. Look at that. Laura, the bread, really good. Really good. Oh, yeah, that's done. Wow, that's rustic, eh? This is the end. This is what we think is dessert in France. 
Well, dinner is ending, and I think it was a success. Tonight, for me, is a revelation. And I've learned so much here, even though I've only been here for a few days, that I hope I can bring that back and help my friends enjoy their lives just a little bit better. Do people eat like this every night of the week? No, but do people very often get together and make a special memory around a meal? Yes, they do, and this is one of the best places for it. I'm not going to pretend that hosting a dinner party takes no effort or is inexpensive. But in the end, when you have all those people gathered together, talking, laughing, and sharing wonderful food, I always think, this is life. This is living.